brick chick here with a tutorial on how to make a really cool Lego oven that includes many features. So it has a nice opening door here with a handle that just opens up. And inside I have a rack and I put a croissant on it. So let me go ahead and take those out here. Just comes out. Here's the rack. I just put some grill pieces on there. And this is really cool. You can actually adjust the rack height so you can actually put it up higher. And you can't fit the croissant up there now, but you can fit a pizza up there, so I thought that'd be pretty cool. And then the pizza just comes out, but it's really hard for me to fit my fingers in there, so I'm going to do it off camera. Alright, I got it out, but it was kind of tricky as my fingers just keep getting bigger. But it comes out, and then this door just closes up really nicely. And then the oven does have a nice cooktop, put some nice black studs on there. And then I put a frying pan on here, and I put a black stud, a brown stud in there. So it looks like meat's cooking or something. That just sets on there. It has some nice grills in the sides. In the back I put those nice curved pieces to add that extra detail. And up on the wall I put these printed tiles with like the dials and the controls. And I have a nice clock in the middle. And then I have a nice hood above that with a light there. So you can see what you're doing when you're cooking there. So it's really cool. The only problem with this is that it is taller than say like regular drawers and like a regular oven which I'd normally do like a mailbox with some grill pieces on it because these would normally you know go together really well but instead I made these fake drawers on the sides and so in a kitchen I'd probably put this assembly like separate from the other drawers so it wouldn't look weird like with that next to it but I still think this is really cool so let's get started all right here are the pieces that I'm using to build the stove but um, some of these pieces I'm just using for demonstration and some of these pieces can be substituted with other pieces if needed to build this and you can use whatever colored pieces that you would like so in white I'm using two one by one bricks with one knob on the front four one by two bricks four one by three bricks one one by four brick with four knobs on the front and five one by sixteen bricks and then six one by two jumper plates one one by four plates three one by six plates and one one by twelve plates and then four one by two smooth tiles one one by two printed tile with the digital clock print on it, two one by three smooth tiles, three two by two smooth tiles, and one two by four smooth tile. And then in light gray, I'm using two one by one round studs, seven one by one plates, five one by two plates, four one by two jumper plates three one by three plates two one by six plates and two two by three plates and then one two by four plate one two by six plate twelve one by one headlight bricks two one by three bricks and six two by two bricks and then three one by two radiator grills four one by two plates with the track on it two one by two plates with the handle or bar going across the front of it two one by one plates with the vertical clip on the side two one by one clips with the vertical clip on the top of it and one one by four smooth tile and then in dark gray I'm using four one by two radiator grills one two by two plate one two by three thirty degree roof slope um, one three by four thirty degree roof slope and then in black I'm using eight one by one round studs one one by two plate, 
one 1x6 one plates, two of these 1x3 bow slope type pieces, one short stick, and one frying pan. And then in dark tan I'm using five 1x2 smooth tiles, four 1x6 smooth tiles, two 2x2 two two smooth tiles, and then in brown I'm using one 1x1 one one round stud, and then I'm just using a croissant. So let's get building. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my plate, and I'm going to take a 1x12 plate right here in the back, and then a 1x4 plate right next to that, and this is going to be like the base for my wall. And I do this so it'll line up with like the carpeting or tile flooring that I'm putting in in a room. And so now I'm going to start putting in some tile flooring. But um, again, this is just for demonstration. So you can do whatever colored tile flooring that you would like in your kitchen. And you can do whatever design you want. This is just how I'm choosing to do it for this specific tutorial. So I'm just using some dark tan smooth tiles because I think they look really nice in the kitchen. And I'm not going to tile this entire plate. I'm just going to do a small area. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to take two 2x3 two plates. I'm just going to place one here and one here. And these are going to act as like the base for the... Um, fake cabinets that I'm going to put in, like the fake drawers. And then I'm going to place a 1x4 smooth tile right here in the back. And then I'm going to take four 1x2 jumper plates and I'm just going to place them like so in front of that, all lined up. So you have something that looks like this. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these 1x2 plates with the handle going along it. And I'm just going to place these right here on those jumper plates and then I'm going to make the oven door so I'm going to take a 2x4 plate I'm going to take a clear 1x2 smooth tile right here and then I'm going to take two of these 1x1 plates with the like vertical clip on it I'm going to place one on this side and one on the other side and then I'm going to take two of these with like the clip on top I'm going to place one here and one on the other side and then I'm going to place a 1x2 radiator grill right there to act as, you know, kind of like a vent. And then I'm going to take one of these short sticks and I'm just going to place it on there for a handle. And then I can just come in here and clip that right on there. So now I'm going to start building up the walls of the oven. So I'm going to take two 1x3 bricks and place one on this side and one over on the other side. And then I'm going to take two of these 1x2 plates with like the track on it. I'm going to place one here in the back on this side and one on the other side. And then I'm going to take two 1x1 one one plates, one right here in the front and the same on the other side. And then I'm going to take a 1x3 one plate on this side and a 1x1 one one plate and a 1x2 one plate on this side. I don't really have that many 1x3s in light gray, so I'm just going to substitute that, but I think it's fine. And now I'm going to take two 1x3 plates, one here and one on the other side. And then I'm going to take two more of these 1x2 plates with the track on it, one here and one over here on the other side. And then I'm going to take two 1x1 plates, one in this opening here and one in the other side. And then I'm going to take two one by two plates, one here in the back on both sides, and then I'm going to take two one by one plates right there on the front on both sides, and then I'm going to take two one by two plates, one here in the front and the same on the other side, and then in the back here I'm just going to take two one by one round studs. I didn't have any more of the one by one plates, so I'm just substituting those, but you don't even see them because the cabinets go up against it, so it's fine. And now I'm going to make the rack, so I'm going to take a two by two plate, and then I'm going to take four one by two radiator grills, and I'm just going to place those on here to create like a rack, 
and then this just slides right in there. And then I'm just going to place a crescent roll right in there. And then I'm just going to flip the oven door up like that. Alright, so now I'm going to make the top of the oven. So I'm going to start off with a 2x6 plate and I'm going to drop it right there in the back. And then the front, I'm going to place a 1x6 plate. And then I'm going to take another 1x6 plate, this time right there in the back. And then I'm going to take two 1x2 two radiator grills. I'm going to place one on this side and one on the other side. And then I'm going to take eight black studs. And I'm just going to place them on here to represent like the burners on the oven. Just place those on there. And then I'm going to take a 1x6 plate right there in the back and then a 1x2 plate right there in the middle. And then I'm going to take two of these like 1x3 bow soap type pieces and I'm going to place one on this side and one on the other side to create that nice curved detail in the back there. And then I'm just going to place a frying pan right here and a bronze stud in there just to add some detail but you don't have to do that, that's optional. So now I'm just going to make the fake cabinets on the side but you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so they, you know, like go with the oven. So I'm going to start off with three 2x2 two two bricks and I'm going to stack them on top of one another. And then I'm going to take two one by one headlight bricks and place them together. And on the front of those, I'm going to place a one by two jumper plate. And you are going to need to make two more of these if you're making this type of cabinet. So I'm just going to place those on top of each other. And then I'm going to take a two by two spoon tile right on here and a one by two spoon tile right here. And I'm just going to drop this in here. And I already made another one just to put on the other side of the oven, but I made it exactly like the other one. Alright, now I'm going to start building up the wall. So I'm going to take four 1x16 bricks. I'm just going to place them in the back. And again, I'm just doing this for demonstration. So if you were actually putting this oven in a house, you know, you would probably make your walls longer. But I'm just doing it like that. And then I'm going to take two 1x6 plates. I'm going to stack them on top of one another and place them right here in the middle of the back there. And then I'm going to take two 1x3 bricks. I'm going to place one over here and one here. And then I'm going to take two 1x2 bricks and place those there. And then I'm going to take two more 1x3 bricks. I'm going to place one there and one over here. And then I'm going to take two 1x2 bricks. One there and one over there. So now I'm going to take one of these 1x4 bricks with the four knobs on the front. I'm going to drop it right there in the middle. And then I'm just going to take two of the 1x1 one one bricks with the one knob on the front. I'm just going to place one there and one over here. And then I'm going to take three printed tiles and I'm going to place them on the front there. But you don't have to use these same printed tiles. I'm just using them because I think they go well with the oven, but you can use the tiles of your choice. And then I'm just going to place a 1x6 plate on top right there to make sure it's even with the rest of the wall. And now I'm going to take a 1x16 brick and place on top to cap everything off. Then I'm going to take two 1x3 spoon tiles. I'm going to place one here and one here. And then I'm going to take two 1x2 spoon tiles. I'm going to place one there and one there. And now I'm going to make the hood. So I'm going to take one of these like 4x3 roof slopes and one of these 2x3s. I think they're like the 30 degree roof slopes. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to place those there. And then I'm going to place a 2x4 spoon tile right here. And a 2x2 spoon tile. I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to take a transparent yellow 1x1 one one round stud. I'm just going to place it right there in the middle. Now I'm just going to drop that on there. And that yellow stud acts as like the oven light there. So you have something that looks like this. So now you know how to make a really cool Lego oven that has an opening door. Has a nice rack can fit food in it and the rack can be adjusted like you can change the height of it has a nice cooktop with the burners has some nice grills has a nice curved detail there has some nice printed tiles there has a nice oven light and a hood and I forgot to show you before but it is minifig friendly it's a little bit tall but my brick chick minifig can still stay in here and cook some food 
So that's really cool. So, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and thank you for watching.